the Tory chairwoman and Arthur rip into cretinous, Remainers using duplicitous claims as part of their desperate plea to thwart Brexit. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Miss Dorries said, What I think is cretinous is when we have people who are popping up on the media and writing op-eds who are trying to perpetuate the myth that the British people voted to leave the EU but didn't actually know what they were voting for, and were in fact probably voting to stay in the single market and the customs union. That just is not true. It's not appropriate, it's duplicitous and, in fact, I'd go further. People are telling downright lies when they say that. Because if you look at the referendum campaign it was very clear in almost every rally, every speech, every television debate that what people were saying, including myself, that leaving the European Union meant leaving the customs union and leaving the single market in order that we can free ourselves from and cut the ties with the bounds that tie us to Brussels. Get a Brexit news, Nadine Dorries said Remainers have told downright lies. It's duplicitous and, in fact, I'd go further. People are telling downright lies when they say that Nadine Dorries' arch-remainer Nick Clegg, the former deputy prime minister, has repeatedly claimed Brits did not know what they were voting as part of a desperate plea for a second referendum. He claimed that most hardline Brexiteers now accept Brexit will be less beneficial and more complicated for Britain. Mr. Clegg joins a group of arch-remainers in his call for a second Brexit referendum. Among the group is former Prime Minister Tony Blair and billionaire George Soros. But Prime Minister Theresa May has continually shut down remainers and ruled out calls for a second referendum. But Mrs. May is to introduce a so-called backstop customs system for Northern Ireland in the government's latest proposal for avoiding a hard border which could see Britain remain in a temporary customs arrangement. The backstop draft, due to be published on Thursday, sets out a blueprint for a temporary customs partnership if the technology for a frictionless border is not prepared in time for the end of the Brexit transition period in December 2020. Brexit Secretary David Davis was critical of the blueprint and said after a speech in Westminster, on time limits, I think the Prime Minister has already made public the fact that we expect to put a time limit on the backstop proposal. Mr. David played down suggestions that he could quit over the spat. Asked if he could stay in his job if the proposals did not have his explicit approval, Mr. Davis said, that's a question I think for the Prime Minister to be honest.